So that's the intriguing situation with two rounds of this championship to go. As always, joining me in commentary, John Kenny. Five second board has been shown to these drivers. Yes, as you said, on drop scores, it's Barable, O'Connor, and Cullen together. But they get a great start, and from the front row of the grid, Michael Barable, car number 98, heading down into Coca Cola Corner. Alongside him, car number six, Edward O'Connor, the two front runners on the front row of the grid. And on the inside line, the best start for Michael Barable, and he has the early lead. And it looked like Dave McGuire there in third place. Where's Michael Cullen? He's in fourth place. And oh, he got awfully sideways there, Michael Parable. He nearly lost the whole lot. Obviously, patches of damp still on this course after the torrential flooding. Ed O'Connor now looking for a space down the inside. But at the moment, it's Parable O'Connor. And coming round the outside there, can't quite catch that number. Is it Mark Fairley, I think? Yeah, Mark Fairley got an absolutely brilliant start. And he's trying to get a slingshot now as they come out of... Bridgestone corner down into the Yorkie S's but as you said a big moment there for Michael Barrow right at the very start of the race he was coming out of Coca-Cola corner heading out into the country and he got it very 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 sideways indeed must have been a lot of wet damp patches of course from that wonderful heavy downpour we had earlier on uh, held things up very very uh, long time here uh, but now they're racing again and it's Barrow still out in front as they head up towards Dunlop corner on the first lap but the big story is that the man uh, who is the current champion is back there in fourth place so Michael Cullen not having a good First lap. Down they come. Barrable. Then Ed O'Connor. Then Curley. Then uh, Cullen. Then uh, two cars absolutely side by side as they come past our curb cam and uh, the start finish line. Lovely close up shot there of Michael Barrable, who's just so important to him this race. He says he's been runner up in uh, a Formula Four championship. He's been runner up at a rally championship, but he really wants to get this one. Good battle down there for some of the lower positions between David McGuire. He started on the second row of the grid in third place overall between him and also uh, uh, Eugene Heary. But as you said, yeah, Michael Barrable, he got a great start. He is, of course, a uh, brother of Barry Barrable, who's up there in contention for the Dunlop Touring Car Championship. This is uh, also sponsored by Dunlop, the Dunlop uh, Fiat Uno Cup. has been in... in uh, uh, Ireland for the last three years. We've had uh, Steve Griffin winning it last year. We had Michael Cullen, of course, winning uh, the inaugural year. But now, can Michael Barrable win the championship this time around? They're on lap two. And Cullen making a real effort there as he tried to look down the inside. It's Denning up a place, I think, Liam Denning. And indeed, uh, David Maguire has dropped about three or four places in that lap. So, Barrable, still Ed Connor in second place. Very close indeed for third. And still Cullen hasn't managed to get past there in the green car. And then we have Liam Denning, who went so well in Phoenix Park. Number three there is Eugene Heary, making up from a pretty rotten se uh, season. And number 14, Graham McClintock, the newcomer. Just finished two laps, and Michael Barrable is extending his lead over Edward O'Connor in second place, with Mark Turley in third. And Michael Cullen, another championship protagonist, as I said, he won the championship in his inaugural year two years ago. He's in fourth place ahead of Liam Denning and Eugene Heary. And the gap between O'Connor and Barrable, uh, O'Connor leading the championship, but on countback scores, it is Barrable who is ahead, is 2.21 seconds. And there's Barrable, and he really is doing it all right at the moment, apart from that big, big scare on the second corner. So uh, number 98 there, Michael Barrable uh, from Dublin, a very, very experienced motor racing driver. He started out in Formula Ford, then went off to rallying for a number of years and drove uh, a Monta, uh, Manta 400 very spiritually, beautifully sideways, but never quite got that national championship. Number 26 there, Mark Thurley in the rough down uh, motors car, holding off uh, Michael Cullen, who really has lacked luster a little bit in the Unos this year after a very dominant year last year. Yes, this isn't good news for Cullen, of course, because the front two protagonists in the championship are out in front, Barrable ahead of O'Connor, and now he has got Turley in between himself and the front two runners. He doesn't need this, of course, because it gives the chance for the front two runners, Barrable and O'Connor, to get a big amount of distance between himself and uh, Turley and also Cullen. He puts his wipers on there, maybe he's just trying to flash that he wants to get past, but there's our leader, Michael Barrable, leading after three laps. So Barrable with a comfortable lead by a few of standards, 2.1 seconds after two laps of this uh, reduced to 10 lap race. O'Connor still in second place, uh, Thurley still in third place. Ed O'Connor's had a good year too, a lot of wins. And there is uh, the black and white car we saw there just in the background. That is the young uh, Mark uh, McClintock 
who has uh, come very much into contention. There's Liam Denning in another one of the Griffin-prepared cars, as is McClintock's. Mm -hmm. That, of course, as you said, is Liam Denning. He um, is driving the car which has won, uh, which Steve Griffin won the championship in last year. So it is a good car. Uh, Griffin has put on many of time on pole and also won races. So can Denning do the same today? I don't think so. Barable seems dominant with O'Connor out in front. So happy car.